Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today, we'll go over some of the basics in Tuner Pro, just like we did in uh, HP Tuners, and hopefully this will help you out if you're using Tuner Pro and LS Droid to run your uh, swap. I'm gonna try to cover just the basics. Um, these videos wind up getting pretty lengthy and people don't watch the whole thing, so I, I kinda wanna keep it down to under everybody's attention span. Um, which is about 10 minutes or less it's about seven minutes really anyway I, I will go through and I'll show you where some of the tables are and how to how I recommend how I do it I, I don't know if it's right or wrong I don't really care as how I do it um, what I see most often is people who read their bin off of their P off of their PCM and then they they run around trying to find an XDF that matches it and that's not the way that I do it. Um, what I do is I go over to Gearhead EFI and you have to join up or you can go, there's an LS Droid uh, Facebook group also, you can join there. They have some files or you can join at Gearhead EFI. If you don't get accepted, check your spam folder because my acceptance went into the spam folder and it took forever. Um, but anyway, from the main forum, and you have to be a member in order to download the stuff. From the main forum, you go into uh, OBD tuning under fuel injection here. Um, and then Tuner Pro OBD2 bin files right here. And then these guys have gone, uh, the user Eagle Mark's done most of them, but these guys have correlated, collated all the, all the different bin files they have. Um, so what I'm using today in Tuner Pro is I select my XDF, which are in my Tuner Pro documents in the document section. Um, I like the 8322 XDF. I happen to know that it works and it's all there. Um, so that is a 2001 file. This will work for any 99 to 2002 PCM. It doesn't matter if it's a 411 or not, as long as it looks like a 411. If it's from a 99 Silverado, it'll be some other hardware number, but it doesn't matter. You can write and tire right over it. So I go in here and I find what I was doing before Pete did the uh, segment swap and made that available is I was finding the one that had the transmission I needed, right? So it would be like this one here, LQ4 6 liter, because I always use a 4080. Um, you can go through here, whatever engine you're using. It only works on a, a few right now. But here's a 5.3 if you have that. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the top and do a six liter. So I'm gonna download this. And then I'm gonna go back to Tuner Pro. And I already have my XDF open for 8.3.2.2. So I'm gonna go to file open bin I'm gonna scroll up here to my downloads where it went if I was being tidy I would have dropped this into the tuner pro documents but I'm not right now and we'll open that up so say you have a 6 liter 4L80 this is a great place to start over here in the parameter tree on the left sometimes it doesn't look right and it'll say like It'll be like that. So you want the parameter tree from this drop down. Parameter category, sorry. So then you can see all the different uh, folders that you have. And the first one that we need to do is VATS. So we'll double click that to open it. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what each one does. So configures vehicle anti-theft system, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Zero equals VAX active, one equals VAX active, two equals, it goes away, sorry. Two equals VAX inactive. So we'll change this to two and we'll hit save. And see how that little asterisk popped up up there? It means that this file has been changed now. So we'll go ahead and save this as, save bin as. You wanna keep the, uh, OS number right there so that we know what we're working with. 
and we'll call this YouTube tutorial and we'll add bats deleted so that we know that that's what's changed about it for now. Um, you can go down here to the DTC. This is where you can turn off. It's the same deal. Zero equals no mill, one equals mill. This is where you can turn off your uh, check engine lights for different things, like your rear O2s. Unfortunately, you have to figure out what the rear O2 code is. You Google it or whatever. Then go in here and change it to mill, no mill. Um, for the uh, idle, you can go to the idle table. I'm not gonna get into the throttle cracker and all that stuff. You can actually just like roll down. In the airflow tab, just like uh, HP tuners, this is where you'll find your VE table. Um, without being able to data log, if you're tuning this for like a cam, you're just taking wild guesses. And you can do that. You can go in here and, and, and pull out a little fuel. You can offset it by, you know, some amount. Take a guess. Um, and then watch your AFR gauge and just keep playing with it. Watch your AFR gauge and keep playing with it. But without data logging, you're really just kind of pissing into the wind. There's no telling what you got going on. Um, really where it shines is just for setting your vats, taking your vats out and taking your uh, your your check engine lights off. Um, but then all you do is save this. And then save it. And then in the other tutorial on LS Droid, I've shown you how to hook your, your cable up to the uh, PC and drag folders in between them. So just drag your new bin over there and flash it with LS Droid. Um, that's how you do the basics. I'll come back later and do a more advanced one for people who want to know how to do things like that. But this will turn your VATS off and get your swap running to start with. Um, make sure that you're using a bin and an XDF that match and make sure that you're using a bin that's for your engine size and trans type. And we'll go over segment swaps and stuff like that some other time. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, whatever. Um, and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.